Thanks for tuning in. I'm Carbon Mike, and this is The Explainer, plain talk about complex topics. This episode is about software and science and how not to mistake one for the other. As I record this, it's May 2nd, 2020. In March of this year, Imperial College London issued a so-called scientific report containing predictions about the possible spread of COVID-19. Is this report really based on science, that is, on sound scientific methods? The answer is no. And in this video, I'll explain why using a very simple analogy. Let's talk retail. Everyone is familiar with going to the store and having your purchase rung up at a cash register. There's a roll of paper inside it, and when your purchase is rung up, you get a copy of the receipt. But the cash register keeps an internal record of your purchase. In fact, it keeps an internal record of every single transaction with a timestamp for each one. This is important because it means that if the shopkeeper at the end of the day asks his assistant who opened the store for him that day how much money the store had made at, say, 1 p.m., the assistant could start with the amount of cash they had when they opened the store and just run down the list of the cash register's internal records doing simple arithmetic, additions for sales, subtractions for refunds, to arrive at how much money the store had at 1 p.m. Note that the assistant cannot simply answer his employer's question, how much money did we have at time T, by pointing to the contents of the cash register right now. He has to open up the ledger and work through the audit trail. But what if there is no audit trail? What if the assistant hadn't loaded the cash register with receipt paper at the beginning of the day? What if he had simply recorded every transaction by hand on the back of a paper bag until, say, 2 p.m.? And then, to add insult to injury, what if, after belatedly firing up the cash register, he just threw the paper bag away? This is exactly what has happened with Neil Ferguson and the COVID-19 modeling software. And by the way, they're not doing this in secret. No one appears to be conspiring to do anything. They are discussing this slack, sloppy, imprecise, substandard way of working openly on their Twitter feeds. What do I mean by this? Well, in the software industry, we have a mechanism that's like a cash register. We use it to track not the state of our money, but the state of our code. In the software industry, our cash register is called a version control system. The role of receipt paper inside the cash register we call a repository, or repo for short. There are different version control systems, different cash register models, but the most widely used version control system in the world right now is one called Git. There is also a database in the cloud, a collection of receipt paper roles from thousands of different software projects called GitHub. Let's go back to the store analogy. When the shopkeeper's assistant comes to open the store in the morning, one of the things he has to do before serving the first customer is load a roll of paper into the cash register so that there is an audit trail for every bit of business the store does that day. When we software engineers start a new project, we do the same thing. We create a new repository so that there's an audit trail for every change we make to the software we're working on. As we write code, we ring up sales and refunds on the cash register, except we don't call them sales and refunds, we call them commits. And each one is timestamped. If we want someone to be able to reproduce our work, we copy our receipt paper roll up to the cloud. That is, we push our commits to GitHub. Then another engineer, provided he has permission, can copy those timestamped receipts, can clone the repo and see exactly what the state of things is or was all the way back to when we first opened for business. Now, what does this have to do with scientific software and COVID-19? Well, Imperial College London, the shopkeeper, opened for business on or before March 16th, 2020, obviously because that's the date when they issued the now infamous COVID-19 report. To double check, to scientifically reproduce the findings in that report, we would have to know 
the state of Neil Ferguson's code, not now, but at the time the report was generated, which is on or before March 16th. Well, if we just look at the code, the ledger, the receipt paper roll, which Neil Ferguson and company belatedly released to the public, there's a link in the description, we can see the problem right away. The earliest transaction on the receipt paper, or as a programmer would say, the oldest commit, happened well after March 16th, 2020. We have no window into what the state of Neil Ferguson's code was at the time the Imperial College report was generated. This means no other scientist can reproduce his work, meaning whatever else it is, it's not really science. So, the UK population has been placed under house arrest, its ancient liberties trampled, and its wealth cast into the sea. This was done on the basis of certain findings. Were those findings scientifically sound? Without a proper audit trail, you'll just have to take Neil Ferguson's word for it. That's all for this episode of The Explainer. I'm Carbon Mike. You can find out more about the Foundationist Society at www.futurerad.io. You can follow us on Twitter, Future Radio Feed, and on Instagram, Foundation Tech. Thanks for listening. Take care.